Hey folks, welcome to CES 2012. It's John P. from GeekBeat. We're going to start our coverage from the Energy booth and take a look at a neat universal charger. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. Hey Stephen, thanks for joining me here. Uh, you guys have a nice booth. You've got a lot of action going on. Tell me what is going on with these new energy chargers. Well, one of the great things that we have is that the energy charging systems enable you to charge whatever product you have in terms of phone, camera, smartphone, tablet device, but it's intelligent. Let me show you how. Okay, let's see it, because I do carry a lot of them. I've got a tab, I've got a phone, I've got a MiFi, I've got everything. So what are we going to do with it? Nice and simple. We didn't invent this. That's one, that's, that's, one, that's one great thing. That's just a USB stick right there. Okay, we, so we didn't invent this, and we sure didn't invent this part. But iPod, what, but iPad, what, iPhone, right? But what, but what we did do was this, ah. which enables you to have micro USB charging and mini USB charging. Brilliant. Great thing, how many cables do you have in your pocket? Loads of them. Yes. When can you find them? Never. So, <clears throat> simple solution. USB, and you connect it into your mains charger. Dual charging, so it gives you both 10 volt for iPad and 5 volt and lower for other smartphone and devices. So, what so you are you saying that one of these is a 10 volt and one of these is a 5 volt? What it does is intelligently detects the signature required for the device. So either one could put out either amount of current? Exactly. Okay, keep going. So um, maybe you do it at home, maybe you forget. Jump in your car, same thing. Wait, now the car charger will also either, it can put out up to 10 or if it can put out one if need be. Exactly. Okay. So now, whatever device you've got from the other end, you can charge all of those from plugging it in here. However, you're going to spend the day at CES. Actually, you're going to spend rather a long time at CES walking to booths like this. Uh, your phone's going to ring constantly. You're going to answer it, book another meeting and presentation. It's going to die eventually. But yeah, for a few hours, I'll be able to do that. Yeah. Maybe at four o'clock. Yeah, it's just going down. However, now you can carry one of these pocket cell in your pocket. And what it enables you to do is connect this end into here, like that. And now you can charge either your eye product your micro product, your mini product to micro, or mini product down here. So you've got the connector. That okay, so how big of a battery is this? So this will give you two full iPhone charges or half an iPad charge. And how long will it take me to actually charge my phone on that thing, you think? It depends on different devices, but it's around 25, 30 minutes. That's quick, I guess because it puts out a lot more current than others. And, and then that's going into the device and then you're getting the full power and able then to use your phone or other device. The thing that we all want is not to take the emergency call, it's to use the device. You want to get on Wi-Fi, you want to read book your schedule. It's all about using your device completely, not just that, oh, I just need to make that last call. You know what, I have an interesting thought. We have a troublesome device that we have not been able to find a charger for. Oh boy. You know what? First, I want to take just a minute and thank Ford for our coverage here at CES. So you guys hang on. We'll be right back, and we're going to give this thing a serious test. With Sing Services, you can use the power of your voice to stay in control of your Mustang driving experience. Do you want to catch up on your favorite NBA team, other top news, or get your stock quotes? Sync will make it happen. Microsoft, up point four four two twenty six. All while you keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. Thanks so much to Ford for powering our CES coverage. All right, Stephen. Uh, uh, Mark Zamora is over here working our camera, and Mark has a—he's got a phone that for days we've been trying all kinds of different chargers on. We've not been able to get it to work. You want to give it a shot? Oh boy! Now there's a test. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hang on, Mark. Where's your phone at, Mark? All right, here we go. All right, Mark has this ancient T-Mobile. What is this thing? It's a dinosaur. We got to get you an upgrade, Mark. All right, this is it. This is the one. We have not been able to charge it off anything. Okay, so into the into the fire. Yeah. So plug in plug in the USB connector into here, into the pocket cell. You can press the. This won't automatically switch off. Sorry, won't um, by mistake switch on. You have to press it and hold it to turn the charge on. You can see the LEDs. I've been using this one. It's normally four up to charged. So disconnect, what do we have here? Uh, micro, so slide it in. And, hey, we're in luck. Bingo, <laughs> it works, it works under fire. That's amazing. That's superb. So now, congratulations, Mark. You're gonna have a charged phone by the end of the show. <laughs> okay, so questions for you. A, how much does this little system cost me? And B, 
when and where can I get it? Okay, so at the moment we just launched uh, literally today, so you're the first guys to walk onto the booth. Uh, this, in terms of the pocket cell and the cable, comes at around 79 US dollars. Uh, and it will be widely available from the queue that's on the end of the booth. We know that distribution and retail are all here having a right. look at it. Um, in addition, these other products, they are all options that you can add on to build your own uh, individual charging because you might have car charger or home charger currently into which this could already plug. So nice and simple and an easy solution. Well, very cool. And obviously the only thing we've been able to find to work with is older phones. So if you've been having trouble with those, energy might be your answer. Okay, guys, stay tuned for more continuing coverage here live from CES. Go to geekbeat.tv forward slash CES 2012. Take care.